Do you think that it's important for your brand to jump on any video that's happening or on any song or sound? Do you feel that it's the best way to get your brand out there and to get people to speak about you? I'm here to tell you that it may not be the best idea for you to take with your brand. This is Uncut and I am Summit Boy. Usually, what happens is there's a sound, there's a dance, there's an act that we all jump on because it is trending. And we feel that this may be what may get us to the front pages, to the shares, to the reels, to the explore section of most of the social media apps that we use. What happens is when you keep attaching all these things to your brand, it dilutes your brand, it confuses your brand, and it makes you generic. As a brand, you have something that you stand for. You have a value that you offer. You have a language that is yours. You have a tone that everybody can identify you with. And when you keep continuously adding yourself to all these different viewpoints, all these different conversations, all these things that are not in line with your brand, your customers may start to get confused. So I can use an example. So a lot of brands have been jumping onto social media craze and social media deaths to appeal to what you may think would be younger demographic, Gen Z demographic and as such. However, when you, when you look at it, you realize that sometimes it comes off as cringy. If, I, if you pick a telecommunication as an example, doing a dance video in the middle of a telecom crisis, just to give a piece to customers, people may not find that funny and people may not find that great. It's good that you associate yourself. It's good that people are seeing that you are evolving, but you must always never lose your voice. If you want to come out of this standing, I have a couple of recommendations. One, you should always make sure that whatever you're posting is original, is something that you would have no issue with, is something that stands in line with your brand language, with your brand tone, not only with the sounds, but what makes it, you know, trend is usually the tags, is the hashtags. Now, make sure that whatever hashtag that you're using, you have a unique hashtag. So the generic hashtag could be dance today and yours could be dance today with Summit Vian as an example. Then in that way, your tag stands out because you are not just another fodder in the entire ramble that's happening, but yours stands out. Three, try as much as possible not to copy. I understand the, the sense of copying. I understand that it's social media and most of the times we all move in one direction. But it's great to be an outliner. It's great to be the one who is standing saying that, okay, this is what my brand is and I won't bend to this. Because the more you do that, the less people know you for who you are. And the more you become someone who is just willing to go with the flow. Most often, people who follow trends don't set trends themselves. You have to try as much as possible to be a trendsetter try to be the innovator, try to be the unique person that's standing out there. And there are periods, and I want to use, um, you know, on other social media, that it becomes very bad when people jump on trends. So you could be working on a campaign for something. Maybe you could be working on a campaign for girl-child education, as an example, and there's a trend that's happening related to football. Now, you may feel that adding that football trend will get your information out there which is good, but in the end, it's doing more damage because it's going to a target audience that the message is not intended for. If you are stuck to your original trend, you are stuck to your original messaging, your original conversation, you would have reached the targeted people that you were hoping to reach, and you would have had the impact that you wanted to have. It's always great to be unique. It's difficult at times to stand out. It may seem easier to go with the flow, but at the end of the day, as I keep saying, you have to know who you are, you have to know what your value you are bringing, and you have to know to whom you are giving the value. Otherwise, you'll just be a mess, you'll be lost, and your brand won't stand out. So the next time that you think about trend hopping, think about what your brand means to you, where you want your brand to be, and if you feel that trend will have the impact that you want, 
think about it twice again ask people sometimes it's important to consult other people ask people how do you feel about us doing a b c d and listen to their opinions try to accept criticism and try to understand that not everything on social media is great always be unique always be true to yourself and always know to whom you are selling what you're selling so again this is summit bar here this has been on cut and it's been great having you on today's episode uh, we know it's a little shorter than usual but we also don't want to take too much of your time and jump onto a trend and be too long peace